This tutorial demonstrates measuring areas and distances and tagging features with their distance to another map feature. Use the Info tool to see the length of any line segment or the size of any area feature. For example, if I make the landmark area layer the working layer and then choose the Info tool and click on a landmark, you'll see that the area is reported in the Info window. If your units are in miles, then the area is in square miles, and if your map units are in kilometers, then the area will be reported in square kilometers. For example here, Queensbridge Park is three hundredths of a square mile. South Point Park is two hundredths of a square mile. And Central Park is 1.37 square miles. You can also use the Measure Area tool to find the size of an area by clicking on the map. Draw the perimeter of the area. And double click to close it. Maptitude reports the area and the perimeter. In this case, the area is about a third of a square mile, or about 200 acres. Use the Measure Distance tool to find the length of a line you click on the map. Draw a line and double click to end it. You can see that the line I drew is 1.82 miles long. You can also tag features in a layer with their distance to features in another layer. For example, if I make the employee layer in this map the working layer, and open a data view of it, I can fill this empty field that I've already created with the distance for each employee to the office in the office layer. Simply highlight the field and choose Edit Fill, choose the Tag option, choose the office layer to compute the distance to the office, and choose to tag with a distance to features. When I click OK, Maptitude calculates the distance of each customer to the office and fills the column with the results. For more information on tagging, you may also want to see the tutorial on attaching data from nearby features. Now if I switch to the map and click on these employees with the info tool, you can see that their distance to the office is shown in the info window. And I can also use this distance field to create a color theme to illustrate the distances. For example, I'll choose the color theme map wizard. Choose the distance field. And click OK. And now you can see that most of the employees live within one and a half miles of the office. And that wraps up this tutorial on measuring distances and areas.